Good evening everyone. It's time for our evening chat because today hasn't been vloggable. <laughs> um, yeah, I've, I've been talking to other people who do vlogs about um, how sometimes your day is just not vloggable. And uh, people that are watching sometimes go like, oh but we don't care if your day's boring, just show us everything. And I'm like, you don't want to see me put laundry in the washing machine. There's no point. Or me doing the washing up. Like, you know what that looks like. It's not... Not only that, I, I can't imagine myself talking to you while I'm doing the washing up. Splish splashing around. You won't hear anything. So there's no point. Um, yeah, and, and basically that's, that's what today's been, really. Um, I've talked to my nephew. Um... He showed me all my old toys, which was good. Uh, um, lions and, and um, elephants and in a little train. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm very much looking forward to seeing him next week and um, seeing it all in person. Because I haven't seen those toys since I was little. <laughs> so that'd be nice. Um, yeah, other than that, I found... Um, well, I didn't find it. I bought it a while ago, but I haven't really used it. A um, lip tint. It's really strange. It's like a, a marker. And when you put it on, it's like... It gets really, really red. I like it and I like the difference it makes just putting on a bit lippy. It's really strange how that makes such a an impact. Mm. I'm going to leave this on for the night, see how I go because um, where I'm wearing a, um, a dress with red roses on it, this is the perfect shade. So I'm quite happy with that, it's um, yeah, it's Max Factor Lipfinity Lasting Lip Tint. So, in case you're wondering, mm, it does feel a bit dry though. Maybe you need to put something over it, or just. But then I'm not much of a uh, lipstick kind of person. I normally eat my lipstick during the day, so I end up with nothing on my lips. Um, so maybe this is the good that something good for me um, to last me the day and if not I, no, I can, of course I can reapply that's not a problem um, <sighs> yeah uh, I've had my shoes on again for a little bit today they do hurt a little bit but I'm sure I'll get used to them um, and tomorrow I'm gonna have my hair cut and I have decided that yes I will go because it's I washed it just now. Does anyone else do that? You wash your hair before you go to the hairdressers, even though they'll wash it for you. It's a bit like go to the dentist and, and brushing your teeth a billion times before you go. Um, yeah, so I want to have it sort of like that, I think. Yeah, I think that'll be alright. Because even like it's long, my hair's long, but I don't really like it comes up to sort of there. Um, but I never have it down, so there's no point really in it being long and like I always have it tied up. So um, yeah, I think it's better for my hair as well if I. Uh, cut it shorter and don't have it tied up all the time because you can see I'm sure hairdressers can tell there's like damage from 
elastics and stuff. I try to wear these elastics without the metal bit. Um, but you can't always find them. So that's tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'm a bit nervous about it. Not about having my hair cut because I'm sure that'll be fine. But it's a new hairdresser's and um, I don't know. I always feel like you need to keep the conversation up. And I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's a bit strange. Um, because in Holland, um, we used to have, or my family used to have a family friend, uh, who's a hairdresser, who would come over in the evening and do the whole family, like do all of our hair, like my mum, my dad, my sisters, my aunt, uncle, niece, nephew, uh, not niece, nephew, cousins. Um, yeah, so it'd be like a, a family gathering with added hairdressing. <laughs> but, oh, that sounded good, didn't it? I don't know if you could hear that. Um, but, um, yeah. Ty's cut my hair a couple times, and it's not exactly even. But, as I wear my hair up all the time, no one notices, like, it's not like one side this short and the other side that long, but um, yeah, there is quite a bit of difference. You can't really see it. Um, but uh, yeah, for for the wedding, I want to have it cut properly, so off to the hairdressers I go tomorrow. Um, I'll take you with me, though I doubt I'll film anything in there because I'd feel awkward. But I'll probably film on the way down and, and as I come back. Um, yeah, but other than that, nothing really pops to mind for today. Nothing really. I was just checking to see what date it is. It is the 27th. It's inc like, I keep saying that, but it, I suppose it's as you get older, time, time really starts to fly. And it really does. This month has gone nowhere. Even though we're like arranging lots of bits and double checking, like, uh, our travel plans and all that kind of stuff um, but yeah um, I will see you tomorrow for hair cutting day um, and I'll report back on the lippy see so I'll let you know how it held up because uh, you know I'll be like having a drink and I'll make myself a tea I think it's it's not cold but it's very blowy and, and grey. But, um, yeah, I do feel like a cup of tea. I've just had dinner. So it'd be nice. Um, I will see you tomorrow. I've done enough rambling on, I think. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.